everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we are going to be working on fixing the icon that uh, custom models use. It's a 2D model rather than things that are in Minecraft and I actually took the time to figure out how to create a fix for this issue. And um, it was just a matter of tracing where the blocks go in the models and stuff, but uh, I'll show you guys how to fix it. Uh, Alright, so first thing is, I don't know if this is going to work on um, just regular blocks and stuff like that. I would assume it probably will, but I just want to show you that I did import a JSON file for a custom model for um, from Cubic. Um, all right, so what I've done is I've opened up the items um, JSON file that is generated when you create your block, and this is what the full or file has in it. So I was going to see where it's basically uh, in for a block like planks and how it's set up and eventually it will lead you back to how everything is set up in Minecraft so that's what I did I went to oak planks and it just had a parent which is basically it's inheriting things from block oak planks which is a file so I went into the block uh, JSON files and searched up oak planks and this is the settings for that, just some textures, but it also went to cube underscore all. So I went there and to cube, so I went there and so on. I went finally and it, uh, the links to the block to this file here. So this is what you need. Um, you can go to basically just in your Minecraft jar and uh, grab this and um, it has the same settings as what uh, pretty much these settings are here so what you want to do is copy everything including display so you want to make sure that you don't have any spaces or anything like that so just make sure you select everything under display and if you're using notepad plus plus then the uh, brackets will light up once you know um, where to select it and um, I'm just going to show you which folder you actually need to paste this in so you copy the thing so you want to go to user and then you want to go JSON and models and then item so select item and then select the one that you want to open and that's where we were before so you want to select under display now it's important to make sure you're not deleting any brackets so wait until you see it light up red and then paste in display and that's all done just make sure to save and start up your game again so I am in game now and um, yeah, so as you can see, the icon for the block is fixed. It's the same size and everything as planks. So that works out just fine. And if you hold the item now too, it also fixes how it was too large before and obstructing the view and stuff. So just pasting that whole section in will fix um, the model properties when you're holding the item slash uh, GUI items and stuff. So. Outside of that, I hope this helped you. Um, if it did, definitely drop a comment and uh, subscribe if you're not already and uh, suggest anything in the comment section and I will do my best to research and uh, find solutions and help you with your issues. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching my video guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and click that little silver bell for notifications. You can also go to my Google Plus page. I use that as a feed for all my new videos that I publish. If you want to go a little bit further in supporting me, uh, you can also go to my website and do a one-time donation on the donation page or you can subscribe to me on Patreon and, um, and get content earlier than anyone else on YouTube. 
if you have any questions, comments, or ideas, definitely comment in the comment section and I'll do my best to answer your questions or comments. And uh, if I don't get back to you right away, then I might be a little bit busy at the moment, but I will do my best to get back to as many people as I can, as with uh, the time that I do have. Uh, thank you for watching my video and I hope to see you next time.